Hey guys, we are heading out for our next trip and we're going to Germany this time. And we were actually planning on living in this camper thing that I've been renovating for two years now. But we went to get new tires on and we found out that the lights are not working anymore. So now I have to fix that. So I booked two nights ago, I booked a um, hotel and Airbnb instead. So now we're just driving down in the car and we'll have to wait to test out the camper till next time. But I'm happy. Let's get on the road. Are you ready, babe? I'm so ready. And it's even starting to rain, so it's time for us to head out. Hey guys, this is our first stop and it's the diner. It's a restaurant that's in three places in Denmark and we love it. They have the best burgers and I'm getting my pancakes and Martin is getting chili cheese poppers. Now we haven't made it to Germany yet, but this is a part of the adventure to enjoy the food. Can't wait. I love these little suckers, chili cheese pups. It's exploding deep fried cheese and chili and it's definitely not healthy, but it works. <laughs> it's perfect! <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go south. New adventures. You guys, I'm super bored. Oh, we have 45 minutes to go and I'm trying to come up with things to entertain myself and it's really difficult. Apparently I'm a very impatient person when it comes to driving. So it's a good thing that I wanna be on the road all the time. I don't know how that comes together well it's beautiful here and the sun is actually shining and all the trees are green is really really nice because the weather forecast actually said that right now it would probably be raining are you excited for Lübeck yep what are you looking forward to we're staying down in Old Town yeah. it's a little island thing so I'm excited to see how it is hope there's some good restaurants and stuff Welcome to Lübeck, guys. So far, we like it. This is so idyllic. And it said it was supposed to rain today and it's not raining at all. It's perfect. Let's explore the riverbank. Lübeck is surrounded on all sides by the Trave River. And the old defenses are now turned into park areas. The city's original name, Lübeck, means lovely. And on a day like this, it's really hard not to agree. They have this little island that you can walk on and I think we passed most of it now. So we're gonna look for some dinner. Hopefully we'll find something really good. We were just strolling down the street and we stumbled upon these little plaques in the ground, in the sidewalk. They are like mini memorials to Jews that were deported from here to different ghettos in Europe. These guys were deported to Riga, where we actually went. So it's kind of weird and scary and powerful at the same time. I don't know why. I just think that is such a sweet memorial thing because a lot of times they just have like one big memorial for all the Jews and this whole area. But this is just so personal because it's this person and this person and they actually lived here. I don't know. I think that's nice. Those three people actually survived. Yay. We found this great little Greek restaurant and we have some moussaka and tzatziki and feta cheese that's grilled and salad and it's awesome. Yeah. 
we finished off here. We had delicious food and we just had a little yogurt for dessert. And we are so tired from driving all day. So we're probably gonna head back to our room and just watch some YouTube, some Netflix or something and just relax and sleep. Um, yeah, but maybe I'll give you guys a tour of our room while we're there. And then tomorrow we'll be ready to go out and explore the city. Sounds good, right? Cheers. He's not sleepwalking, he's sleep drinking. He's so tired. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys our room because it's this really nice loft space and there's an artist and it's actually his studio. So he decorated one of the rooms as a guest room, but it's kind of still his studio because there's a lot of paintings everywhere. So it's like his private gallery. It's a table where Martin can work, a bed, another bed, and we have a fridge, which I love, and then we have all the art. And a huge window. I really love this one. We always have new adventures coming up. So don't forget to subscribe to join us and see where we're heading next.